What's going on, y'all? Welcome to Ward 2 of Season 41. So today they're banning Herc, of course. He's the only one that matters. Um, but it's all good. I mean, they can't ban Ghost. So we're going to be using her today. Starting off over here on Path 5. And we're starting off with Gore. So I wanted to use Ghost for this fight. But Manuel hates me and he hates Ghost. And he doesn't want me to have any fun. So he's making me use Hood here. I don't have Suicides on yet. I'm going to switch them on after this fight. It's just gonna be a super simple hood fight. Super boring hood fight too, which is, you know, I wanted to use Ghost because she's just, like a little bit more exciting. Basically, all I'm doing is I'm gonna work my way up to a special two, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use it to knock him down. Um, you can see it shoots me straight up to three bars of power, which I kind of didn't want, but I'm running five MD. So it is what it is. He's the only special one. I'm gonna use a light attack to get closer encounter with my heavy attack it does almost enough damage to kill him but not quite so i throw my special three right away and this is going to go ahead and finish him off so next up we're going to be moving over to kitty and we took this fight last round with ghost it went super smooth i mean basically the fight plan is just don't hit her while i have my um precision up or it's going to be a guaranteed crit which is going to feed her a bunch of prowess and we don't want that we're just going to hit her with only the guaranteed non-crits until we're basically up at a special two and then once we're up there we're going to go ahead and knock her down with a heavy attack and finish her off with the special two so i knock her down to remove the protection launch my special two and does just enough damage to kill her that's a that's a rank five kitty dead in one special two Shout out to Ghost, uh, she's pretty bad. And now we're moving on to America Chavez, who is probably my least favorite defender of all time. I think her and Ebony Ma are the ones I've died to the most in my whole career. So we're gonna try not to die today. And we start off the fight by hitting a heavy straight to the face. Not really what I intended to do. I was trying to interrupt her while she was charging her heavy attack so she wouldn't open her negative zone. But I was a little bit too slow and ate that heavy to the face, but it's all good. Knocked her down, we recovered, threw my special two, and she's also dead immediately. So yeah, pretty good fight with Ghost. Next up, we're taking Korg on node 23, and I'm going to be using Ghost again here. I have a white magnet to pre-fight for my guy Steve, shout out to him. And it's basically there, so like just in case I need to parry and he has his rock shield up, we can guarantee that it sticks. and. Then I can keep on getting my light attacks in. I don't want to be using medium attacks on the way up, otherwise I'll take some unnecessary thorns damage. So you're seeing here I'm countering him with only light attacks, just until I get his rock shield down. So I just need two more hits to knock it down, but he throws a special one, and I don't want to dash in immediately and take some thorns damage. So I take too long and I get rooted here, but it's all good. I just get unrooted, knock down his shield, and then throw my special two. And now the fight's basically over, I'm just going to be looping these special twos until he dies. And yeah, so I think one more to put him down. And yep, he's down. Ghost is uh, pretty bad. Next up we have Nick Fury on node 26. And I have another white mag pre-fight from Steve. Just in case I need to parry Nick Fury, I don't want to be giving him a bunch of power from Conflictor that could interact with the flourish buffs that he has and just like shoot him up to a special three immediately so i'm gonna be throwing on an invul boost just in case i end up eating a couple hits from nick which i don't plan to but you know sometimes it happens and yeah just gotta be prepared one thing to note here is that i do have a 200 percent power back boost on from Korg which is the proper boost size to use against like those mini boss fights but against smaller fights like this it's way too much power you see just the first hit alone pushed me up to a special three um so yeah that's not ideal i'm gonna try to you know just go ahead and throw the special three it's not gonna do too much damage but i mean i just want to get rid of it so i can start building more power again to a special one or special two Luckily, he immediately goes to a heavy, so I can go ahead and counter, throw my special two, and he's done for. So 
So now we're going to be moving over to path 8. And we have Galen here. And, you know, initially Manuel tried to tell me to take Tiger instead of Hood so I can use Tiger for this fight. But I was like, dude, you're going to have me Tiger this guy when I could just ghost him? And, you know, ideally, you know, you probably don't want to be ghosting Galen too much because, I mean, he's a cosmic. She's a tech. Techs usually die to cosmics. But, not ghost. Ghost is pretty good. And, yep, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna do ghost stuff right here. Although I did just get parried there. I'm not sure how that happened. We can go ahead and watch that back. Because, I don't know, that looked kind of stupid to me. Yeah, there's no way he should have recovered in time to parry that. I use light attacks specifically so that I don't get parried. And, I don't know. Anyways, we're just gonna recover from it, and we're just we're just gonna finish him off. Uh, a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. So Galen goes down, not quite as fast as Tiger would have done it, but at least I get to have Hood on the team. And, you know, he just gives another level of comfort when playing Ghost because you can phase off recoil damage, save some pots, you can phase off a special with three, and if the opponent can't miss like Nick Fury or Quicksilver, then you can phase that off too. And we do have a Quicksilver coming up later, but right now, let's get into this Bishop. And, you know, Bishop versus Ghost is usually a pretty good match. So the plan was to get up to my special 2 and push him up to a special 1 so that way I could uh, throw a massive special 2 with the Furies from the Incinerates. But then I got a Cruelty along the way and I forgot about Rich Get Richer on this node. It gives me just a whole bunch of power and now I'm at a special 3 and I didn't really want that because now I don't know if I should just throw it or just do basic attacks. And it looks like I just decided to throw it when he's almost dead. It's going to be more than enough damage to finish him off. And yeah, forgot about Rich Get Richer. It's all good. Ghost is bad. Next up, we have this Rentra on node 47. And we're going to be using Ghost again here. We still have the Invul from the last fight. And I mean, we also have Hunt on the team. So if Rentra does end up getting to his special 3 from the node or his own power gain, then it's going to be perfectly fine. We could just either eat the damage with the invul or eat the damage with hood. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and ghost this guy. Don't know why I went for a heavy here, because when you're fighting Grincher with Ghost, you want him to be at 10 plus mystical charges, so that way you can get like a bunch of ruptures on you, and then just like get even more damage with her. Um, so yeah, that was kind of dumb of me. It's also going to be pretty dumb that I dash in here and get parried, and completely lose my indestructible boost. And now I'm at a special 3. I don't know what to do with it, like should I just throw it? Should I, you know, hold on to it and just kill him with basic attacks? He's almost dead. But I'm just going to go ahead and throw it, and yeah. <laughs> so Rinchy goes down, it took like a whole minute and a half which is pretty annoying. Um, I mean, I was never in danger of dying or anything, but usually when fights take more than like 30 seconds with Ghost, it's like, something's going wrong. And yeah, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. We're moving on to Quicksilver on node 49. And Quicksilver could be pretty scary with Ghost. I mean, it's a good and bad matchup in a way. It's good because his basic attacks have three hits each. So Ghost just gets up to her special two super fast. Like I didn't even need to power start one. I'm already at special 2, 
Um, the only issue is once he gets above like 300 or 400 momentum, he can ignore miss. So you really want to kill him before he gets there. And that's just exactly what we're going to do. So I got a little bit of too much power there because I had a 200% boost on. Usually against hazard shift fights or just like lane fights in general, I would use a 150%, but then I had this on from the cork fight before, so it's all good. Uh, Quicksilver goes down, no problem at all. What is a problem though is Emmanuel's bad punt that he always leaves in the in-game chat. It really needs to stop and, you know, someone needs to tell him that. But anyways, here's the score right now. We died three times, they died four times, and we're up on attacker kills by a good amount. So it's looking pretty good for us. Uh, what's even better news though is Battle Group 3 secured a donut, which, you know, it's it's really good because, I mean, it's only my second war planning with 4 Loki. And, you know, the fact that we secured a donut this early in the season is some really good news. So hopefully we can get a whole bunch more. And yeah, I'll catch you guys at the next one.